Wake up, New Brighton. I am your host, Madison, and today we will be talking about Jack Theodore Robinson. You may know him as the first man to break the color barrier. Jackie was born on January 31, 1919 in Cario, Georgia. Not many know that President Theodore Roosevelt was the inspiration for Jack's middle name. A little later in Robinson's life, he adopted the nickname Jackie. Robinson was the first black baseball player to play in the American Major Leagues in 1947. On April 15th of the same year, Robinson broke the decade-old color line of Major League Baseball <clears throat> when he appeared on the field for the National League, Bro the Brooklyn Dodgers. Robinson became an outstanding all-around athlete at Pasadena Junior College and the University of California, Los Angeles. His third year, he had to unenroll at UCLA to take care of his family. In 1942, he entered the U.S. Army and attended officer candidate school. He was commissioned a second lieutenant in 1943. Robinson faced court martial in 1944 for refusing to follow an order that he sit at the back of the military bus. The charges against Robinson were dismissed, and he received an honorable discharge from the military. Once Robinson left the service, he played professional football in Hawaii and baseball with the Kansas City Monarchs of the Negro American League, where he drew the attention of the president and general manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers, Branch Rickey. Rickey's main fear concerning Robinson was that he would be unable to withstand the racist abuse without responding in a way that would hurt and Integration's chance, integration's chance for success. During a legendary meeting, Ricky shouted insults at Robinson, trying to be certain that Robinson could accept taunts without incident. On October 23, 1945, Ranch Ricky signed Robinson to play on a Dodger farm team called the Montreal Royals. In 1962, Robinson became the first black person in the Baseball Hall of Fame. This just been on Time Travel News, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 was just passed by Congress after the final 54-mile Selma to Montgomery march attempt. Martin Luther King Jr. has led multiple marches with hundreds of African Americans and even some whites for equal rights for African Americans. King told the assembled, there never was a moment in American history where honorable and more inspiring than pilgrimage and clergymen and laymen of every race and faith pouring into Selma to face danger at the side of the embattled Negroes. On March 7th, 1965, the worst part of the march began. Civil rights leaders joined in on this march, but things did not go as planned. This day is nicknamed Bloody Sunday because of the brutal attacks that occurred. People involved in this march were tear gassed, clubbed, spat on, whipped, trampled by horses, and jeered. These images sicken and outrage people all throughout the country. Demonstrations were held in 80 cities to support these marchers after Bloody Sunday. After this failed attempt, Martin Luther King Jr. led a final peaceful march from Selma to the capital of Alabama, Montgomery. This final attempt has led to Congress passing the Voting Rights Act of 1965 today, August 6, 1965.